Behind the Scene with David Bedeen, August 31st, 2020, an auspicious day in Israel's history, the first day of a peace agreement between Israel and an Arab state known as Abu Dhabi or the United Arab Emirates, the first time that a commercial flight from Israel, El Al, has ever flown to Abu Dhabi took place today. The country is in a situation of euphoria, thrilled by the fact that 200 Israeli corporations will now do business in an Arab nation that had been at war with Israel. All restrictions on business, all boycotts are over. It seems to be that there's an era of peace is upon us. However, I do not share the euphoria for a simple reason. The United Arab Emirates maintains its relationship, its aid to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, the, to UNRWA giving $51 million this year to UNRWA, quadrupling its contribution. And what is the focus of UNRWA? The right of return by force of arms, which is the slogan that UNRWA sells to, to 5 million Arabs who are in refugee camps since the 1948 war. These refugee camps designed for the, for the descendants of the people who left, the Arabs who left in the 1948 war. And they, they work on three bases. One, the demonization of Israel, of Jews. Number two, the illegitimacy of Israel even being in the Middle East. And number three, preparing their war, their people for war. So long as that main, that attitude and that policy is, remains, there can be no peace. The only practical suggestion that we have is the next three weeks, the three weeks before Rosh Hashanah, before the Jewish New Year, there will be a, intense negotiations taking place to establish the ground rules for Israel's um, presence in Abu Dhabi and for diplomatic relations with Abu Dhabi. So the suggestion, the very modest suggestion to make is that well, there needs to be a constraint in those negotiations to prevent any future aid from Abu Dhabi to Palestinian war education as being carried out by UNRWA, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, because you can't have it both ways. You can't have a peace process together with the war process. So that was the mistake that Israel made in September um, 1993. Israel signed a peace to peace, uh, a peace understanding with the memo with the, the PLO. And then it wasn't, the, PLO, the, the memo was never adopted by the PLO, and the PLO adopted the most vicious anti-Semitic pro-war curriculum ever. So if you don't deal with education, you're dealing with the possibility that the lethal weapons of mass instruction will affect the Middle East. The lethal weapons of mass instruction, in other words, the issue of propaganda and word pollution affecting the, the, the Middle East pre peace process and creating something of a monster. So the situation with Abu Dhabi and the United Arab Emirates can go either way. It can be a great euphoric victory for, our, for the future, or it can be a disaster. It all depends on whether there, there will be an ad adoption of peace education and a change in the mentality and the mindset of the Palestine Liberation Organization, the PLO. This is David Bedin, behind the scene with David Bedin in Jerusalem, August 31st, 2020, which happens to be my 70th birthday and my 50th anniversary of moving to Israel. Thank you.